Diecast me here with the model review of the John Deere 648G Grapple Skidder in 164th scale made by Ertl. For starts, this model is pretty nice. Good for the price I picked it up for, which was $10 at a train show. This model is in practically mint condition, if not dead mint. Um, start off with some of the details. It has realistic tread on the tires and hub detailing. Tires are rubber, soft rubber. Uh, the gra the grapple's plastic. Here, I think there's a fuel cap of sorts, or a fluid cap. Here is a uh, winch drum. So I believe <clears throat> this model in real life could have been operated as a grapple skitter, or a cable skitter, or both. There are a few unpainted rivets in this model. Grill's pretty plain. Here's your tree protection, uh, air cleaner, and your exhaust pipe is integrated into there. Um, your mesh is just plastic. Here's a door latch, which is some fine detailing. Steps to get into the operator's cab. Uh, plastic mesh and black windows, no interior. Here's the hydraulic articulation detail. Uh, pretty nice. Here it says Ertl, Dyersville, Iowa, made in China. There's a few nicks there. Um, engine panels, pretty nice. Back here is some wear plating, I believe, for guarding. Um, I believe that's for, say, you're picking up a log. It can rest against that area. As you can see, and it won't damage anything. So now, on to the functions of the model. Hydraulic steering is only replicated in detail. There are no real hydraulics, so it's kind of free and loose. Downside to that is it's a little wobbly in the center. Rolls very well. Blade goes up and down, and it's hydraulically operated. Here are your two little um, things to mount chains on and to guide the logs, I believe. You can push them. And uh, the grapple arch is raised and lowered with hydraulics. They're pretty smooth. Uh, the grapple opens up this much, but realistically, it'll only be this much. It closes all the way. This is a single function grapple, which means it cannot rotate. <clears throat> Good for this model, though. I believe this was introduced in the late, mid to late 80s, this Ertl model. Since then, it has been released as the 648E, 648G, 648G Series 2, which was yellow, but a more vibrant John Deere yellow, and some gray. And then it was finally released as the 648G Series 3, I believe. And it came on a low boy, but the main difference was it was green, like the modern John Deere green. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this review.